So in case you forgot, um, Elise is only my Twitter description says, I love cows, uh, WordPress, and food notes. And that covers about 99% of my life. And uh, I'm also a partner in a web development firm in Quebec, Canada, where we mostly work with WordPress. And I'm also a writer, and I write in French. Uh, Quebec is a pretty small market, but uh, I have more than 4,000 followers on Twitter, uh, 1,600 on Instagram, 3,000 friends on Facebook. Well, they're not all my friends, but let's see, they're friends. Uh, 10,000 followers on a page. Um, a few hundred people visit my blog every day, even though I don't post very often. And I still haven't figured out what to do with Snapchat. Um, my cloud is higher than 70. I don't know if it's still the case, but uh, when cloud was at its peak in 2012 or something, you could monetize your influence. Uh, you could get room upgrades, you could get perks. I think I got shampoo once and cat food, and my cat was pretty excited about the food, and I was not about the shampoo anyways. Now that ad blocks is blocking ads, advertisers are looking for influencers. Uh, influencers marketing is kind of a gold rush. Everybody's talking about it, even in WordCamps. Um, and over the past few years, influence has become a synonym of marketing. Each one of us is like a marketing channel. So I guess I can use my influence to get VIP invites in restaurants, and that would be super nice. Um, but the question is, is it the best use I can make of my influence? Uh, there's a whole field of research dedicated to thinking of questions like that. It's called ethics. One of the most renowned ethicians, and we're going to do a bit of philosophy this afternoon, so there's um, a pretty well-renowned philo uh, philosopher called Peter Singer, um, and he, he, he likes to think of stuff like that, and he, like other philosophers, uh, he plays with what we call thought experiment. And one of those famous thought experiments is the following. So imagine that you are walking past a shallow pond and you see a small child running like this. Well, not like this, but it's a shallow pond. And um, you could easily rescue the child, but if you do that, your expensive shoes will be ruined. So what will you do? Would it be wrong to just ignore the child and walk on um, because you want to save your shoes? So who thinks he or she should sh save her shoes? Well, thank you, nobody. Um, of course, we all agree we should, um, we, it would be wrong to put our shoes first. Um, Singer points out that uh, by donating the value of our shoes to, um, to charities that protect children from disease such as malaria and uh, diarrhea in, in uh, developing countries, you can save a child's life. For instance, if you give $100 today at the Against Malaria Foundation, you will protect 60 people against malaria for, for three years. So um, seniors advocates for effective altruism. Effective altruism is encourage individuals to consider all causes and action, and then act in the way that brings the most, uh, the greatest positive impact. It's based on their values. So reducing suffering is important. We all agree on that. It's much more important than keeping our nice shoes or being VIP in a restaurant. So um, if our goal is to reduce suffering, um, we should fight against poverty in the developing world. But um, there's also a lot of suffering in among the animal kingdom, especially in factory farm. Uh, each year, one billion and five hundred one. 105, 150 billion animals are slaughtered um, just for food. So uh, efforts in to reduce um, factory farming, for instance, in eating less meat, uh, is a cost-effective way to reduce uh, current global suffering. So this is me uh, at Vine. Vine is a farm sanctuary in Vermont that offer refuge to uh, animals who have been rescued from the meat, dairy, and egg industry. It is an amazing place. It's like a word camp for animals. It's super exciting. Anyways, um, uh, I work on issues related to uh, animals for, uh, for
for a few years, and I'm always wondering what would be the most effective way to use my time. And one night, it was in 2014, I was having drinks with friends, and we were discussing the fact that a group of French activists were trying to change the civil code in France um, to change the legal statutes of animal. And we decided we should try to do the same in Quebec, where we uh, also have a civil code that is a cornerstone of uh, our legal system. So until recently, animals were considered things in the Quebec civil code. Um, both couches and pigs uh, were considered to be movable property. Um, so from an a legal standpoint, animals had the same rights as the couch or a pair of shoes. So this opened the door to inhuman practices. Um, and this is Esther. I don't know if you know her, but uh, she's pretty famous in Canada. She has one million followers on Facebook. So I don't know about her clout, but she's more popular than Chris Lima. So it's kind of big in the animal kingdom. Um, so she, she's like the Chris Lima of the animal kingdom, but she's popular among human too. And um, she was adopted by a couple in Toronto in 2012, and they thought she was a mini pig. But as you can see, it was a mistake. And they kept her, and she now has her own queen-size queen bed because the couch is not big any enough anymore. So Esther knows how to open the fridge door. She has her favorite meals and everything. But, um, and she's probably the happiest pig in Canada. And while she, stay, she, she lays on the couch, well, millions of other pigs are simply used as a mean of production. So this could change, but uh, we needed to raise awareness on the topic. So we created a simple website uh, within a few hours, and we decided it would be a manifesto, um, not a petition on sites such as change.org or through the official government um, petition service, because we wanted to have our own branding first. We wanted to have space to explain the issue, and we, of course, wanted to own the email addresses of the signatories. So um, this site was made bilingual because we are in Quebec, uh, French and English. We used Polylang for um, to make the site bilingual. I think it's the best plugin plugin for this kind of views. And uh, signatures were gathered by um, the participant database plugin. So it's a super great plugin for that kind of need. Uh, it's super flexible. It has uh, a short code, so you can insert your sign-up form wherever you want. Here, it's in the text widget, and you can display the list of signature the way you want, wherever you want, on a page in a widget or whatever. Um, so it was there. We were super happy. Um, but there is dozens of um, petition sites out there, and we needed to stand out. So uh, what we did is that before the official launch, we reached to academic um, people in the media, um, entertainment, just to get signatures from celebrities. So when we launched the site, it was not a bunch of, of activists trying to change the law. It was 30 celebrities trying to change the law in Quebec. And that decision was key in getting media attention. So we gave the scoop to a major paper, and then um, we sent the release into uh, the regular news wires. So a few hours after the launch, we had already 5,000 signatures, and then we were featured in the evening news. So we were pretty excited about that, but our host panicked. So that night, we were very happy not to be on a cheap $3 a, a month hosting plan. We adjust everything, the site was kept up, and we continued to gather signatures, and, but we didn't know what to do next. So, big question, what could we do? So we sent emails to our signatories, uh, asking if anybody had experience with lobbying. We got a few pretty weird answers, but uh, some people offered to help, and um, we started having meetings with members of parliament, but we didn't know what we were doing. And then, big surprise, a few months after, um, there was a new Minister of Agriculture, and he, declare, he declared that he was willing to change the law and that animals wouldn't be considered as, an, as things anymore. So it was super, super good news for us. We got more drinks, and we were excited about that. Um, 
And then the law changed uh, pretty quickly. The government even read, ran an ad campaign that read, that reads, he is not a piece of furniture anymore. But let's be honest. Um, now animals are considered sentient being uh, in regards to the law, but um, it doesn't mean they have better protection. It, only time will tell us if it really changed something for, for them. Um, but what I realized is that having this campaign, and we gathered more than 50,000 signatures, we started a conversation about the way we are treating animals. And the fact that if animals are not things, they shouldn't be treated as simple means of production. It's easy to close our eyes on, issue like, on issues like that. These are things we don't want to see. But once we start the conversation, it's hard to pe for people not to change their habits. Um, on a personal level, working on something bigger than me, using my time and influence for the greater good, gave me more pleasure than uh, room upgrades and free shampoo. I think we can tell our friends to watch this series on Netflix. Uh, we can tell uh, our friends to use those plugins by writing a blog post. But um, we, I think we should use our influence for the greater good. And we can. Um, we need, I use my time to change lab. Uh, it worked. But uh, you can use yours in many, many other ways. Um, Research shows that by spreading the, the word around us on the good things we do uh, as influence on people and that will influence people in doing the same. So if each one of us is a marketing channel, then each one of us can take action in making the world a better place. And just to finish, I'm going to give you a few links and my slides are already on Twitter so you can uh, check them out. There is a few sites you can uh, check out and most of them are done with WordPress. So there's two reasons to check them out. Uh, to know where to start to make the, better, the world a better place. So 80,000 hours is the number of hours you will work in your life. And um, this site will help you, based on five years of research, research, to find a job that will make the planet a better place. GiveWell uh, helps you optimize the donation you, do, you give to charities um, by listing charities that are um, really efficient and demonstrate real impact. Uh, animal Charity Evaluators is doing the same for animal charities. And The Life You Can Save is based on the Peter Singer's book, and it summarizes it. And you will see that uh, with only $1,000, you um, can save someone's, someone's life. So go ahead and check those sites up. Thanks. <laughs>